Hello, this is Hot Indonesia, where we regularly grab a screenshot of what's going on in this country. I'm Dalton Tanunak in Jakarta. Here is this week's HI Hot List. Human cargo, what should Indonesia be doing in this Rohingya refugee crisis? Rainbow Nation, where do we stand in the fight for gay rights? And Film Freedom, why a movie in the running at Cannes can't even be screened here at home. Here beside me on this day in history is Yeni Wahid director of the Wahid Institute, second daughter of Indonesia's fourth president, and owner of at least 100 headscarves, and all beautiful, I must say. You're uh, underestimating. Underestimating, yes, okay. Sarah's out. Sitting in for her today is Nia Dinata, award-winning film director and producer and yoga queen. Wow. Yeah. I found that out. <laughs> yoga. Yeah. Okay, Namaste. hot topic number one, human cargo. Waves of Rohingya refugees are rolling in off the shores of Thailand, Malaysia, and Indonesia. The migrants left Myanmar in search of freedom and peace, heavily persecuted in the country they called home for generations. But they are being caught between scamming traffickers and government policies. Indonesia's Navy and others were ordered at one point to turn back boats carrying the helpless passengers. Um, just this past week, Malaysia and Indonesia, the uh, diplomats agreed to shelter up to 7,000 of the refugees. Um, providing that they are already on their way, not new waves. So that means they already have to have departed. Um, in Aceh alone, northernmost province here, more than 1,700 Rohingyas and Bangladeshis, and that's the political issue, reached our shores. Thousands more estimated to still be on the Andaman Sea between here and um, Myanmar. What is the answer? What is the answer for this crisis? Well, I, you know, I mean, looking at Looking at it from a humanitarian point of view, I think you know uh, most people would agree that we need to extend our help to these people, Absolutely. especially in, in, in dire position like that. And you know, it's not a fun trip that they, they've been that they're enduring. I mean, they they didn't go for uh, you know like a, a cruise sh yeah, cruise it's, ship, it, a cruise it's traveling. Not the, it's, the they're fleeing from something. You know, that's a it's a very difficult condition back home that really forced them to be. Out facing dangers out in the uh, in the sea like that. There are fights on board, people being killed on board between mm -hmm. desperate people, mm -hmm. so they do desperate things. But you know, you don't really just stop at uh, just giving humanitarian aid to them, but also looking at the root cause of the issues. And um, I think what what's happening in in, in 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 Burma now, I think the world needs to also puts pressures more on the government yeah, there. That's the political to, issue, and the yeah. governments have to do that. But right now, I guess what I want to focus on is. The people story. I mean, what mm. what do you do? People in rickety boats, sinking, and they're washing ashore. Do we turn them away? Well, How actually, can you? Uh, they did not have a choice, and we do. We Indonesians, we have a choice, and they did not have a choice. And I agree with Yanni because, as a fellow hum human being, mm. you know, why don't we offer our hands openly to help? Mm. Mm. So that's that's. I think that's that has to be the base. Yeah. Yes for us Indonesians. But of course, governments like Indonesia, and I know they kind of soften their position, are saying, it's not our problem. Why do we have to burden them? We don't have the facilities. Well, that's we don't the have choice. the resources. That's, that's, that's uh, the example of, you know, when you have a choice, you can either say that, or you say that, okay, it's not our problem, even though it's not our problem, but we are going to mm. help them because they are fellow human beings. And I think yesterday, or, or on the 18th of May, the president already made a statement, right? That, that we Indonesian to have to treat them to host them yeah, for at least for a them. year. For at least a year. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that. But it's quite jarring, you know, the stories. I read mm -hmm. stories about villagers in, yes. in Aceh, in, Aceh. in, in uh, East Aceh, who actually extended ha uh, their hands to help these these people out in the sea and and actually. Yeah. Uh, brought them, them in, brought the them to shore. shore, yes. shore. Yeah, I don't think we're questioning where is the, people to people yes, contact. Where's we, the officials turn their eyes away from yeah. this? Uh, well, for the and that's where, the, that's where the, the source of the problem is. Mm. Myanmar is saying that it's not their problem even. They said that we can't take the blame for this because you guys are wanting our cheap labor. That's why these guys are going, which is deflecting the original problem of mm. a homeland for people who lived there for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and mm -hmm. I don't think it's a religious thing. People are making this a Muslim Buddhist thing. Yeah. I don't I think it's, no, I think it's, it's political. political about yeah. statehood and stateless people, right? Mm -hmm. They're saying mm -hmm. that they're uh, Bangladeshis, yeah. mm -hmm. but they've lived there. It's like people living here for hundreds yeah. of years. You can't call them 
Chinese, Chinese because they came mm -hmm. from or whatever. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's yeah. issues of non-intervention within the Asian countries. I think it's it's about time that uh, we change that policy and 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 uh, you know and have more government pressuring. Uh, you know, one another if they see that something is not right yeah. within. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, within within the the internal borders of, of mm -hmm. each countries, and um, this is a problem that uh, again that that is happening in Myanmar and in Burma, but it's spilled over mm -hmm. onto uh, neighboring countries. So it has become a collective problem for and, all. And a global so problem. It, the U.S. Global, just announced yes. that they want they will take in refugees uh, right. yeah. if they're yeah. repatriated there. So. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Australia has always faced this problem. Both sure. people from Afghanistan, from all these other countries, the, parts, the conflict yeah. areas. So this is, yeah, this is a global problem. So we, I think we all agree that Indonesia has to open our arms and accept these people until totally. the, until the decision is made whether they stay or they have to. Well, if we if right? we've already expressed that we want to be a global player, that we have the, that they want to be, uh, yeah, uh, that we we. we, we, we we're going to have more presence in, in the regional in area, areas, yeah. to be more um, active in regional issues and all that. So this is a chance to prove that. We could be yes. a leader. We could be a yeah, leader. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we could be leaders and other Southeast Asian country mm. will will follow through. As the biggest uh, yes. country in ASEAN, yes. you know, more than mm. 3,000 refugees already on land in three countries, mm -hmm. thousands more still at sea. We can't just say it's somebody else's problem. No. We've got to help. Mm. Okay. No. More hot endo. We'll continue shortly. Is Indonesia a rainbow nation? You're watching Hot Indonesia with Yeni, guest host Nia Dinata, and me. Here's hot topic, hot topic number two, Rainbow Nation. Rallies are regularly held in the most public of places in support of LGBTs. That stands for lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transgenders. In the region, Indonesia is not the most accepting country, but it's not the worst. Activists mm -hmm. say gay rights is a human rights issue. Religious leaders say homosexuality is abnormal. Mm -hmm. um, a Pew Research report, which is an international um, information gatherer, two years ago, found that Indonesians overwhelmingly are against acceptance of sexual um, alternative sexuality, 93%. I mean, it doesn't seem that bad here. No, I, I, not I, at all. I mean, look at the films that I did in 2003. Mm -hmm. It's a... Uh, it has really strong gay issue and acceptance issue. And then the film got a really good result at the box office. Mm -hmm. Was so, that Arisan? So, was that? Yeah, that was, that was Arisan. And then so that is the sign. Isn't that a sign that people are accepting? But have we come a lot farther from 2003? No, I think the problem is we went backwards. We went backwards. We went backwards. Like in the treadmill, you know, we're already reaching a couple of miles and then suddenly <laughs> something wrong with the machine of the treadmill and then oh, back to zero. I think the problem is that people are, some people, some politicians are making it as a, as a political cause. Or and platform. making it as a platform for morality. Yes. Uh, so that's, of course, it's a, it's a, uh, what do you call it? It's like a, um, a symbolism of uh, morality in some people's minds that you know that uh, yeah. if you politics support this politics, politics get involved, well, that's but there is one also interesting fact uh, in East Java. Mm. You're, you're the family of Yen is from East Java, mm. right? In Malang, uh, in 2003, there is an um, election for a mayor of Malang, and then one of the candidates is uh, my friend, LG, uh, transgender mm -hmm. Marilyn Sofian, mm -hmm. and then she was she lost, but mm -hmm. only like really tiny percentage mm -hmm. and then a year later uh, one of the party uh, KP, uh, KPKI KPK, K PKPI PKPI one of the political party uh, you know like propose her mm -hmm. to be the, the uh, candidate for the because like of her abilities later. not be, not exploiting her no uh, no but yeah. because for her abilities mm -hmm. also for her popularity she speaks very good mm -hmm. uh, pub, she, she she really does good mm. uh, public speaking mm. 
mm. and has uh, still has a lot of okay. uh, followers. Now, yes? the Pew report also said that mm -hmm. acceptance is wider spread in richer countries, such as the U.S., mm -hmm. um, and where religion plays less of a role in people's lives. So that, that's why I think maybe this the biggest barrier here is what about that in Vatican? Islam forbids mm -hmm. homosexuality, right? In Vatican, Vatican, it's a rich country, yeah. but it's yeah. also well, okay. yeah. heavily. Uh, that's obviously heavily religious, uh, but but, influenced but, by but religion. Islam does forbid homosexuality, correct? Yes, and so does uh, Roman Catholic and 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 Christianity. And I think most most religions would say that as a. Well, richer usually means a, developed. We're kind of a developing country. So mm. how do you get around that, Yan? How do you get around the 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 haram uh, label? It's very hard when it comes. I think the issue here in Indonesia, and I think that that is what's reflected in, in the Pew uh, research, uh, Pew research, Pew Center's research, is that uh, when it comes to legal rights, then there is the issue. But when it comes to social acceptance, people are usually quite accepting. Quite accepting people yes. are, uh, you know, people are. Uh, Cool, just to hang out with you know their friends, and then and you know, uh, most people have at least or know someone who's uh, who's gay, even though they're not, they might not come out. So it's a uh, it's a. Uh, Socially, the, uh, there's a level of accept uh, acceptance, uh, yeah, and also we've, we've seen yeah. uh, public figures, especially in, in entertainment um, areas, yeah, who, who, who quite came out uh, openly, and oh. then you know, didn't or you get know, you any, could see, yeah. and you can quite see, obviously, yeah, obviously that they're gay. That they're and, gay. Well, I mean, that's, 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 yeah. that's also not a good gauge because there are people you wouldn't know who are gay because they're they're not openly. You, you can't see it, right? Um, but right. again, when it comes to uh, when it comes to law, that's the other issue. And then when it comes to religion as well, uh, it depends. Of course, the the uh, strict religion, all kinds of religion, is forbid that, right? But uh, you can not, you know, you have to really accept the fact that in Yogyakarta there is a boarding, Islamic boarding school runs by a transgender woman. Mm. Uh, uh, she passed away last, last year, I think, and then the management was, you know, transferred to another transgender woman who wears hijab and then who are really, um, you know, accepting all kinds of students mm -hmm. in the boarding school. It's really small. I've been there in Yogyakarta. And uh, it's small, but it's really uh, clean and, you know, it's amazing because they're opening their doors to everybody who wants to study the Quran, who wants to, uh, you know. We, we've uh, done reports on this. Yes. Now, Nia, you, you have been a very vocal supporter of um, LGBT rights. Uh, why? What, 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 what? Well, I grew up with two uncles who are who are gay. Mm -hmm. And... Um, at night, you know, before they went to party, uh, they, 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 they often dress as women. And my grandmother is like applauding and then, okay, take care, bye, you know, drive safely. So when I was a little girl, I, I, I spent the nights at my grandma's house most of the weekends. And then she's just like, and I said, you know why, uncle, that, uh, you know, um, why um, my, our, my uncle is wearing uh, girls' clothes? It makes them happy. Nia, yeah. it makes them happy. Okay. So I was like, okay, it's okay. It makes my uncle happy. Yeah, you Value knew someone creation so, comes from so, home yes, personally. Yeah. But even if you didn't have relatives, you, you, it's, it's a human so, right. I mean, so you it's would a support. Human right. So, so yeah. I thought yeah. all my life until I grew up in a mean high school world, I thought that everybody's like that. You know, I mean, if you have an uncle or you have a brother who likes to dress up as a woman, it makes them happy. And then it's nobody okay. would have problems yeah. with that. Yeah. And then, you know, once you enter high school, it's a mean, mean world of mm. high school. And then you see your effeminate uh, mm. friend, m maybe, getting you know, bullied yeah, and, and then that, getting yeah. bullied and all that. And then you yeah. realize, oh my God, the world is so cruel. Okay. Yes. The, the other problem is actually how to absorb them into workplace because mm -hmm. this is where they find most discriminations happening to them mm -hmm. when they apply for a normal job. Yes. Uh, that requires, you know, like a semblance of normalcy, mm -hmm. uh, the look of, you know, normalcy. Sure. Then. You're right. I think it's two issues: religion and then and, and laws. You, you know, the laws can protect the rights. Religion, it's up to you to follow yeah. Yeah. how you. But feel. again, this is not uh, in Indonesia. It's not. It doesn't carry if you engage in a in a, in, in um, same sex uh, uh, actions, Action. yeah, uh, activities. Then uh, it's not 
There's no death penalty against it. No, no. Not like uh, not, stricter not like, uh, Islamic yeah. countries where yes. you get stoned yeah. to death. One or last in Sri Lanka or in other countries. Yeah. One last quick countries. thing. You mentioned same sex. Same sex marriage allowed in several countries mm -hmm. in the world, including the U.S., led by former Jakarta resident mm -hmm. Barack Obama. Um, mm -hmm. Could that ever be allowed here, you think? Well, well you know, we sort of feel like it's a hush hush yes, thing. You know, you. <laughs> what you you I mean, we've got a long way see. to go, but I mean, yeah. you got to yeah, give people hope. Yeah, it's a hope. long, long way to go. And then I think, uh, based on the facts that I gather from my LGBT friends, that's uh, not their main goal. Okay. Their main goal is only to be accepted and get less dis like really get the equal rights mm. for the day-to-day -day life. Yeah, but if you, you know. want to marry, of why course, not? Why not? Why not? Of course. Oh, marry, I think it's a way off yeah. for, uh, yeah. Yeah. because yeah. You know, the social mores is mm -hmm. built on the constructions of uh, uh, marriage based on hetero So let's take little steps to get to yes. the, yeah. the, the, the big goal. Steps. Okay, yes. more hot Hindu is ahead. Why this film isn't allowed in Indonesian theaters. <laughs> You're watching Hot Indonesia from Jakarta. Here is hot topic number three, film freedom. This short film by director Luki Kuswandi was nominated in a prestigious category at the Cannes Film Festival in France this month. It explores relationships in very human and personal ways. But, but it cannot be screened in public theaters here because of graphic scenes, uh, scenes and themes. It was shown in private settings here in uh, Jakarta before Cannes. The last time an Indonesian film was nominated at Cannes was in 1989 for your hero, Chut Nyak Din. Chut oh, yeah, yeah. Right. remember that okay. film? Okay. okay. Um, because it because it includes graphic scenes of sexuality and homosexuality themes, that's why it couldn't be f filmed there. But well, it's not that graphic actually. Okay, I it's haven't not, seen it. I just saw the trailer. It's not. Yeah. It's not that graphic. Uh, there, uh, it's just uh, very blunt dialogues, mm. but not graphic scene. Not, no, no, no sexual scenes. It's a coming of age films for heaven's sake. Two why? young men. Two young two men. Two young men. Two best friends, boys, who live in a military area, one Chinese Indonesian, one uh, Melayu, Malay, Indo I mean, Pribumi Indonesian. Uh, they're best friends. And then the military, with the military force, and then the story was set during the Suharto era. So, you know, you can see how the fox exploits the tiger's might. That's the title. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's an old Chinese saying because Luki mm. Kuswandi, uh, I used to mentor him as well, and she's a uh, Chinese Indonesian, proud of her, her his heritage, and uh, the fox represents the uh, repressed. Mm. The tigers represent the oppressors, mm. and so when the fox exploits the tigers, the tigers might follow what the what the fox wants. And then it's a very beautiful, strong, I don't know, I think it's the best Indonesian film that ever made. Mm. So Well, uh, that's a strong statement because you've mm. made some very nice yeah. films yourself. Yeah. And, no, and you've This you've is the best Indonesian films mm. that ever made and then that at least I've ever seen that well, I've ever seen. This is a seen. short film yeah. as opposed to a 20, feature film. 20, 25 minutes. And out of yes. 1,750 short films, yes. it made the short list of 10. 10, yeah. yes. And then the uh, only amazing. one from Southeast Asia. Yeah, and, but still it no, can. you know what's sad? It, it shows that we are of world quality. I mean, if it's yes. the best. Mm -hmm. But it, it cannot even pass our own national censors. Yeah, it is, it's really sad. You know, ridiculous in the, this day and age of the internet downloads and all I know. that, it will reach the masses Let's eventually. Let's just put it here at the Indonesian <laughs> channel. I will introduce you to Luki Kuswandi. Uh, we'd, lo we'd love to run it, actually, and yes, I, I don't, see, I a, I don't see a problem for us. Yes. You know, and Nia, you mentioned earlier, um, you're, you, you've pushed boundaries in your films. Mm -hmm. um, Adi San, you mentioned famous for it. Was it the first gay kiss on screen? Yes. Okay, and I, I saw in that. Indonesia I mean, it was kind of in passing. It wasn't very no, passionate. No, I mean, it's not that. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. just a pretty, Two pretty guys, kissing I know. Yes. Um, because of religious influence, Mm -hmm. as we mentioned earlier um, in the show, isn't it impossible to kind of have the cinematic freedom that they have in the U.S. or other... other I think, well, with uh, we... 
I consider I have con uh, cinematic freedom, and then I think Lucky also. And then at the end of the day, when we finish making our films, it doesn't matter if the public commercial cinema doesn't want to screen it because we can still screen it underground and people still come and watch it. But wouldn't you want more people to see it? If of not? course, yeah. of course. But this course. is more than just political or social issues, but it's also commercial uh, point of views as well. Yeah. Some. Uh, but that some, would sell. Would you major think? Oh, it would. Cinema. Oh, it yeah. would sell. But I think some some major what do you call it? Um, movie uh, cinema. Outlet? Movie, cinema, cinema uh -huh. outlets or uh -huh. cinema uh, chains, chains, chains uh -huh. you know, they are reluctant sometimes to air controversial issues. No, and, it's actually no? they're not. Okay. But the rule of their business is they have to screen something with the letter from censorship board all right. just okay. before the film starts oh, I see with that all the, the time. sign of. We see that all the time. And they're not right? going to do that. And they're not. I mean, it's it's their rule. So if there is nothing, there's no letter of censorship in front of the film before the film starts, I mean, they're breaking the rule, right? I right? Okay. So it's Wasn't Brokeback Mountain screened here? Yes. Yeah, so yes. did they have that letter? Yes. And didn't they have like... They cut a lot. Oh, they did? They cut a lot. And I, I saw was it like, on DVD. Oh. Cause they, I, saw, I saw it, also, I saw it. I think, in Europe, and then I went back to Jakarta, and I just want to see what they cut. They yeah. cut a lot. A lot of a the lot, uh, really lot. kind of passionate yeah. kissing yeah. between yeah. two men. Okay. Um, Best of luck to the Fox Exploits the Tiger's Might, yeah, which may have won the jury, yeah, jury by the time this program tonight, airs. Yes. So let's see mm -hmm. what happens. Okay. Hopefully, Indonesia win. Yeah. Bismillah. And it already won because it's not here. <laughs> yeah. Feedback time now, and we like hearing from you out there. Lauren posted this on our Indonesia channel Facebook page. Wonderful channel with wonderful programs. I love Indonesia. That's what we like to hear, Lauren. Thank you for taking the time to write. If you have any feedback on what you've heard or would like to suggest a topic for us to tackle, please email us at hotindo at the Indonesia channel.com or comment through our Indonesia channel Twitter, Facebook and Instagram pages. Final words, Nia. Oh, me? Okay. Uh, well, I would like to congratulate the nine women who mm. were chosen by our president, Jokowi, to be the selection panels of our uh, corruption erad eradication body. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's a uh, history yeah. and it creates a uh, women power. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Bravo, President Bravo. Jokowi. Bravo to all the women. The main yes. thing, they make good choices. Okay. Final mm. words, Yeni. Uh, we see again and again all this uh, practice of virginity tests <laughs> conducted on women by state institutions. <laughs> it's a ridiculous, demeaning, <laughs> and simply cruel practice. It's about time we go away with that practice. Agree. Okay. Yes. And my final words, the government, I mean, we're talking about the government a lot today. Yes. The government <laughs> announced um, that it will ban e-cigarettes, e-cigarettes mm. for health reasons. E-cigs um, use electronics to inhale vapor and said to be less harmful than real ones. I'm not a smoker, but health reasons, come on. What about real cigarettes? What I think <laughs> this is about is protecting the tobacco industry rather than the consumer. Huh? And that is Hot Indonesia for this week. For Yeni and Nia, I'm Dalton Tanaka. See you again next time.